So uh, that was more than a feeling. I tell you, this. I just think of that lotto little, commercial little with that drip. fat kid uh, jumping into the um, jumping into the, the the ball pit. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Falling yeah. in slow motion. <laughs> even though, like, I really want to grade his forehead with a cheese grater and slam him with a serrated hacksaw, <laughs> just from oh, just off the facial expressions alone. Yeah, yeah, like um. Especially the millennials. That, that's what that, that's what gets my that's what gets my serrated hacksaw. Frankie, are we gonna talk about millennials? No, we can't because we talk too much about them, and it's to the point where I'm making them too popular and too cool on the show. Yeah, if we're even, gonna make even, them popular, though, it's because we want people to have sympathy for them after we hit them with a bus. Yeah, not even the sympathy. Like th they feel sympathy that the bus took any kind of damage. Yeah, they're like, but we hurt the bus in the process. I'm not worth it. You I know, agree with you on that. You're not worth it. Yeah, the yellow paint was just like the casualties. Just so why does it have us. to be yellow? This world is so racist. I <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a dude who will like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm going oh, to, though. I'm will, going to. But we will. Like, has his legs crossed so perfect that you're questioning, where's the rest of the garage? I was going to say, where's you the know, garage? Where, where's, where's the, the garage? Are you, are you pulling a, uh, you pulling a Finkel and Einhorn there? Where's it fitting? Because I'm looking for big old Mr. Kanish. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> big old Mr. Kanish. I he doubt, found Captain Winky. I doubt she has the time amidst her. Busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Good old Mr. Kadesh. Jim crushed it. Jim, Jim was great <laughs> yeah, in that movie. But you know what? Classic. Speaking of Jim, let's switch the word a little bit to Jen in terms of next Jen. <laughs> Frankie, <laughs> nice we've been, we, we, have, we have supposed to have this <laughs> conversation for, for years. weeks. Yeah, years even. Years. It's, it's beyond weeks it's now. Not, it's yeah. years. Even though it's only weeks, it's been years at this point. It feels point, like years. We've been doing this least. for so long. We've been waiting <clears throat> to talk about this. But now, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, you got true. Gamers. You We're got, here for you, gamers. We try, finally got some... Uh, some true gamers right here, you know, picking up games left and right, going to veto, going to the vetoes of video games. You understand? <laughs> Only you sit down with the neighborhood guys. It's like you speak with, guys. you know, it's like you come into the videos of video game stores. You understand what I'm right? Eddie, you know, you you know, you, you, you don't you don't, you don't, walk, really you don't right. walk in. You're invited. You understand? You're not. You don't go to Vito's. You're referred to Vito's. You understand? It's like a recommendation passed down from the parliament down to the district attorney's office to the county executive over down to the <laughs> sheriff's <laughs> department. All right, Careful, because it'll get you indicted. It gets you indicted. Just, just, just possibly smelling the plastic off the video game. Case. It'll give you four indictments for forcing the pipe. <laughs> It's a little throwback, guys. Throwback, little 2007. Throwback. 2000 of weapons in 2007. Throwback. 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 You so, can pop um, in the square parts right and watch the <laughs> square park, baby. You know what I'm saying? The pop. bums loved it, by the way. The homeless people, they got a real good kick out of they, it. They loved, they loved it. Do dad, your research, Melissa. Go on your dad's drive like Quagmire, baby. Go hey, hey. on your dad's drive like Quagmire. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Fruit Loop. Fruit, Fruit Loop. Those <laughs> tropes. Those those. Oh. Joe, Joe. So um, we got three new consoles that came out here. We got the, we got the Wii U, we got the the Xbox Wii One, U. and we got the, the PS4. Now, PS4. I am proud to say that I am currently an owner of all three. Tree. Play uh, play all three of them. Um, bounce back and forth. It's gotten to a point doink, now. Doink, 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 doink. I've uh, I've just bought in so many so many different games that have come out, and uh, I'm just trying to span it out to play three different systems. I know that sounds crazy, but and I've actually you got them on lists. back stock right now. Yeah, Frankie. that's how bad it is, man. That's how bad it's it is. It's great to have video games on back stock where you don't have to necessarily rely on just one to. Uh, to, to entertain to, to, you, yeah, you kind of you have, have a like bunch. a bunch of games that you're really interested in. And you just let them sit there while you pluck away at them one at a time, at a time, at a yeah, time. Yeah, pretty much. It, it's it's especially the, you know you save up, and if your hobby, like of course a hobby is video games besides sports, but really there's nothing going on in the winter. So um, I just stock Except up. For, on, I mean hockey and basketball. Yeah, if you're into yeah, and, that. and, and March Madness, which you know that's a big thing by the way. Big thing is March it. Madness, and then you know come springtime, you know it'll be back to softball and stuff like that, softball and baseball. But until then, really enjoy video games and well, stuff. Well, Frankie, up. I, I <clears throat> own the Wii U and the Xbox and the one. one, and I don't have the PS4. So you know, let's start off least. with the PS4. Give, give us a lead in with the PS4. What's so, your What's your uh, breakdown of that next love gen it. console? Love it. I. I when we talk about the one, I'll I'll break in what I think is a little better on the on the four, but I guess I'll I'll say it now. For all three systems, I think the the four has a much better interface. 
What I mean by that is like sorting through the menus, <clears throat> just how it's laid out, how easy it is to get to, to just to find anything you want. Like if you want to go to a chat, if you want to go to this, you want to go to game. It's just it's it to me it's a lot smoother and a lot easier. Um, I think that this system has the best graphics out of all three. Um, it's even said, you know, I mean, besides, well, that's I don't the, that's take... in the specs. That's yeah. in the specs. You know, you, that, that's not that's... how how well the pro, the programmers program a game to be is, is one thing, much but different. what has the most specs is, is, is the, the place PS4, is, is the yeah. PS4, but which is like the PS3 um, compared to the Xbox 360. Yeah, movie. Same, which same same. Yeah, because they they were at that time the three was running off of uh, Blu-ray. And the and the 360 wasn't, and at that time I don't even think that the Wii U was even well, 1080. The Wii, you mean, the, the, Wii. the Wii, that's right. The Wii wasn't even running off a of 1080. It was 720 at the time. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and, but bear in mind though, the 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 Wii was the trailblazer. That's the one that came out significantly before the other two. So yeah. it was the first. And it was very innovative. It was one of the most innovative systems. And just a, a commercial yeah, smash success. I mean, yeah, I remember everywhere. watching get him to the Greek Puff Daddy's playing uh, Wii Sports. You know, that was everybody. A huge system. Grandparents like that. That was the system that got everyone involved. So it was a, a, a real influential system in creating what I call the modern video. Video gaming renaissance the which Wii. was awesome. but you know what that that's the previous that, that's the previous so the so on the ps4 they have um playstation plus i think is pretty is is awesome in comparison to the live for the wii u they uh we'll get into that their online capabilities which they, they don't have any so that's why there's not much of a talk on you know there's not you can't really talk to your friends it's very difficult and you can't play with your friends online yeah the on only the thing wii they u. really have is the is the the me uh, that's the one thing that uh that they it. put a lot of that they put a lot of stock into is the me, and then also that little drawing program, which is actually pretty cool if you're a good artist. But I, I'm myself, I'm not a very good visual artist, so I'm not good at it. But I've seen some drawings that people have oh, made on that. Pretty awesome. Yeah, they're incredible. They're actually incredible, I'd say. Uh, for the PS uh, PS4, talking to your friends is now easy. It's not like on the PS3. It just took forever. You know, if your friends playing a game and you're playing a different game, you can now talk to each other regardless of what, which is what it, what it really needed. It's um great upgrade. I, I think the games are are also incredible. They got um one of the launch games you get is Reso Gun, which is like a like an arcade ish kind of like side scrolling, you know, one of those uh, flight simulating shooter games like nineteen forty two. What was the like name of it? I'm sorry, Frank. Yeah, Reso Gun. Remember oh, I told you. Oh, that's Reso right. No, yeah, you showed you showed me that. Mm -hmm. Which is uh that game is a lot of fun. It, it's just it's just a free game that you get, and like, what isn't fun? That's oh, free. the game that I couldn't think of that was the indie game that was somewhat similar. By the way, was called Nano Assault. That was the one. By okay, the way, okay, Nano I know Assault. exactly. It's available, yeah. I think, for all three of the systems, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Which uh, which is pretty. Which which I I, I took a look at it. I didn't play it though. I, I, I beat it. It's a fun game. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a fun stuff. game. Yeah. yeah, it's like a a launch title type of game. So it doesn't really reach the full capacity of the system. But it dropped around the time of the launch of you know the Wii U. Um, and then you know it's obviously avail at that time it was available on the PS3 and Xbox 360. It's a fun game, but it's not on the it's not on the graphical level of the game you just mentioned. I would say it's not on that same graphical level. The the game you just mentioned. No, the Reso gun. Yeah, the Reso yeah, is that, that's better graphics. Very very yeah. It's like uh, they they really want to show you. Hey, this is look at these graphics. Look how cool this is. Um, a couple exclusive titles. Knack is one of them. It was okay. It was just like a a three D you showed me that platformer one. That was hack and slash game. Uh. It, it, honestly, I wouldn't spend sixty five on it. I, I would not spend the money on the. Yeah, game you're gonna spending. find you're gonna find a lot of those uh, reactions at the beginning of a new <clears> console <throat> dropping. That's Usually not something. Their initial twenty nine necessarily too crazy. Yeah, like twenty nine ninety nine. I'd spend that money on it. That's what I would spend. Like thirty two dollars on the game, the most. Not sixty five. It's right, it's right. not worth it. It's 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 a glorified uh, arcade game at best because it's not really. All that crazy. It's depth. fun. It's cool. Whatever. Not much. Too much. Not, not game, too much depth to the gameplay. No, but the game that rings home uh, is this game, Infamous, Infamous, that just came out. Yeah. This game is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know if anyone's ever played the earlier two. It was quick, quick synopsis on the backstory. Guy gets into an accident. Now he has electricity powers. He's like Electro from Spider Man. You can use that in an open world 3D. Oh environment. yeah, I've played. I think the first one because which I, is the I first. Remember. Yeah, the first and second one. That's who you are. But in this one, totally different story, totally different background, and it's based in the city of Seattle. It's be based in Seattle, and is like pinpoint the way Grand Theft Auto is as it is with Los, An Los Angeles. In terms of representing the actual and New city York geographically. City, that's exactly, they pinpoint all the major areas, the cities, streets, all of that in Seattle, which I thought was pretty cool because 
we're always seeing New York and California. It's nice to see other cities that are like done really well. Right, right. And um, the gameplay is just incredible. It's fire this time. And instead, um, when you'd have to like you know when your powers are running out, you had to go to an electricity source. And this one, you go to smokestacks, or you beat a car up until like there's smoke coming out of it, and then you take that in. I, I honestly. I think the game is incredible, but I haven't been playing that too much. I just picked up the South Park game, <laughs> which is awesome, by the way. Com- love it. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about next gen. So PS4, I, I, if you're going to give me a base on the system, I'd give it a B plus right now. But what's going to make it an A system for me is when they, if if they properly release, and Jay's, uh, um, Johnny, I'm pretty sure you know uh, about this, that... um subscription they have coming out oh, in the summer. Oh, like the Netflix of PlayStation yeah, games? Yeah, they're supposed to have an already li- uh, huge library set up that any game from the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and the PlayStation 3 will be accessible through uh, paying a subscription, and you'll be able to keep saves and be able to buy downloadable content for it and use it. And then, of course, just like PlayStation Plus, once, the, once your uh, membership runs out and if you don't pay for it to get it back, you just don't have access to any of that content. Right. To me, which is fine because you're always you have people on the one who are always going to pay for the membership. They're always going to pay for that live membership. If you're playing for if you're paying for PlayStation Plus, you get a ton of free games too. You get two free a month, and they're not like little arcade games. They're like straight up games that you would you know, games that you would want to buy. So I I give it a B plus. Um, I'm huge on the PS4. I definitely suggest people get in. It's I mean, I think it's outselling because it's a hundred dollars cheaper and, and I think a lot of people nowadays are going, Okay, well this is the cheaper system to get, let's get this. I think it has a lot to do with that and I also think um their primary competition was the Xbox One and Xbox One's uh did not uh PR strategy terrible, going into terrible, releasing it was horrific. They horrible. they took the uh like there was already that very um, cheap. There was very... already that um that controversy with the stealing of information and invasion yeah. of privacy, and then they almost seemed to be in support of stealing privacy. Whether that's the actual truth or not, that was just the pu- the the publicity that they sort of projected to the masses. So I mean, to young college gamers and just young gamers, do you think that they're going to appreciate um, a company that they're trying to put money for saying like, yes, we will invade your privacy? Uh, it's That was such a disastrous PR move on their part. Once, uh, once PlayStation or Sony came out at E3 that year, which was 2013, and said we will not be doing... They, they pretty much read the list of all of the things that Xbox One and Microsoft said they were going to do, and they read each bullet off that list and said we will not be doing this, we will not be doing this. Right there, they lost the... Uh, sales console war and they haven't recovered right yet away. <clears throat> right away what else uh not being able to share games with your friends um saying yeah that that was a big that, that was, was a huge huge, that was huge. problem huge I, I mean problem. leading up to you that couldn't... the internet was in strong support of microsoft but after that they what else they um, have not fully recovered you have to leave your system on all the time and if you don't and if you don't go and then like when you sign on you have to be online you can't you know otherwise Otherwise, it shuts itself off. Yeah, they're, they're, they're you ridiculous. know, Microsoft was really, um, was ridiculous. Was really, uh, pretentious about it in that, oh, we do have a console that isn't built for online. It's called the Xbox 360. It's like, it's why are you like, telling are you people serious? how to play? That, like, that's don't ridiculous. tell people how to play. That's just, it's not even that. It's just like, where do you come off talking like no, that? No, but that's what I'm saying. It, it is that exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, who, how is it your, how is it your job to tell people whether they have to play their games online or not? Like, there's no reason you can't make the system compatible offline. It's, it's, it's these people, the reason why you have a company right now yeah There's people who are buying your system so if you're not taking care of them and right now sony took good care of them especially the american um the company based over here like they they made absolutely sure that the consoles that hit the states were were going to be official and they really wanted to outdo their competitors and i think right now the the top competitors for me um games wise is uh wii u and um ps4 i think that's fair to say i think that the uh, my personal, uh, you've you've mentioned that probably your preference for the three systems at this point would most certainly be the PlayStation. 4. Probably the four say. right now. Oh, I mean, and that's until fantasy football comes around, and, then, and I'm know, using the Xbox, the Xbox One. Interface will make that all of a sudden, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, all of a sudden becomes neck and neck because they're the the Xbox One crushes it in multi platforming and any like television video all of that it's just much better now much on, my, better. on my side of the spectrum i uh I'm, i've played the ps4 i've played it with frankie i've also played it with my friend sammy and i'm familiar with the infamous series or what have you 
And um, the PlayStation 4 is a system that I most certainly intend on getting at one point or another for sure. But the system that I've been enjoying the most thus far, and I, as I mentioned, I own the Xbox One. I got it specifically for Killer Instinct because I'm a huge fighting game fan, is the, uh, the Wii U. Now, the Wii U, they have not engaged in the console wars the same way that the PlayStation, that the Sony and Microsoft corporations have. They've pretty much, in a very like um, stubborn sort of way, refused to engage in that war, which is not really good for the fans. They should compete. Uh, competition is what makes capitalism thrive. When you're not competing and you're just kind of on, a, on an island into and of yourself, then you don't really put your best foot forward. And they've shown that they're not really putting their best foot forward. As Frankie mentioned, they don't really have much to offer. For online they have more old school games that they can offer in a netflix type way much like what playstation is doing then playstation yet they refuse to even entertain that idea and um it's frustrating, you know, as, a, as an owner. They're, they're just not keeping their, their next-gen state-of-the-art in terms of technology. But the one way, and this is the thing that really it speaks to me and it makes me enjoy the Wii U the most, would be just the quality of the first-party uh, <coughs> developed games. Yeah, yeah, the the Mario games, yeah. the Zelda games, the Mario Karts, the Donkey Kong, yeah. stuff like that. And Nintendo. just also the... Um, the, the hardware of their gamepad, what it brings to these different games, it's really, really exciting, and it's really, really fun. If we were to go over what I thought were the best games of 2013, in my top five, I'd say two of them easily are either one and two, two and three, somewhere in that top three within our top five, for me, would be Wii U games. And, you know, I love to have consoles do a lot of different things, and that's really, really cool. And moving forward, there's no reason for them not to do that. But at the end of the day, I'm an old-school gamer, and I, I really want my consoles for the games themselves. So that's, that's why, to me, that's my favorite. Moving forward, I do foresee... You know, Xbox continuing to build on the framework that it's laid down. I can I expect PlayStation and Sony to do the same exact thing. Those are systems that will continue to continue to peak, continue to peak, and eventually plateau. But they haven't even come close to reaching that. Um, the Wii U has been out before any of them. That actually dropped yeah. in 2012, so yep. they've already had time right. to develop a little bit. And 2012 was a slow year, and the first half of 2013 it was looking grim and morbid. But the second half of 2013, Nintendo really came came to ball, and they actually really um, they took the video game industry by the by the horns, I would say, at Comic Con 2013. While yeah. Microsoft shriveled out in the corner and didn't, didn't even, show up, even and, show up, and Sony shriveled in the corner and didn't, didn't even show, show up. up Nintendo had this huge booth, and they smashed out the video game section at Comic Con, and they yeah, stole was the a show. Lot of fun. And as a matter of fact, some people would even make the argument that they stole the show at E3 as well, and that's exclusively video that's games. Crazy. Yeah, and that's all. That's all game, especially um, just like uh, Johnny said, their their exclusive titles. That's incredible. What, that's, that's what make, That's what's going to keep uh, Nintendo running. If they if Nintendo was just joining in with everybody else and having the same and putting the same games on their console they would have lost a while ago but right now their first per, their exclusive titles and uh how they're integrating some of their games with the gamepad is what's going to keep them around for for a while i mean I, at least for i i want to see it i want to see them stay around for as long as oh they as will time. you know why frankie let's say if the wii u flopped if it just fell flat on its face, the 3DS is still one of the, believe it or not, yeah, it's one of the best-selling consoles right in the world right now. So right they now. have such crazy revenue stream from the 3DS that they actually, they're not in any financial danger at all. And I, I really, I have a respect for, for Nintendo because unlike Sony and Microsoft, which capitalized on just electronics throughout the years, Nintendo is a corporation that's built on video games. So they have like some classic programming that it hasn't become outdated. I can still play an old Mario game to this day still and the programming it. is still immaculate and I can still enjoy it yeah as opposed to some of the other games that it's just too clunky too stiff it's just like oh the times are more different. focused on the graphics than the actual yeah. programming of the of the mechanics you know that's why games that's uh, that are somewhat basic wind up standing the test of time especially a game uh, like Rayman newer Rayman yeah games. oh that's an incredible game those that's... game those games I think are going to stand the test of time hands down you know, I feel like um, solid 2D platform is something, by the way, that uh, Nintendo is there. Yeah, the be that, they're that's the best their bread and butter, Yeah, man. that's their bread that's and butter. That's their bread and butter. So, you know, I, anybody who knows me knows that those are the two genres that I enjoy most. I enjoy all genres of games. Yeah, good game here. is a good game. But my two favorites are fighting games and 2D yeah. platformers slash side-scrollers. Those are my two favorites. And Nintendo is h extremely deficient on the fighting game side of things. But in the 2D platformers, there's no one better. No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Alrighty, 
Um, we hit that time. Uh, overall, Johnny, what would, if you're going to grade before we before we sign off, if you were to grade the three systems, what would be my grades what, for them? What's your grades for them? Okay. Um, well, just to just to put a disclaimer first, the only system I feel comfortable grading because we've had a significant amount of time to really analyze one, it. What the one in the Wii U? Well, not even the one because you know the one when we think about it, Frankie, it's only been since November 22nd of 2013, which is not really that long ago. So we're still in the first quarter of a year, give or take, around that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, there are still certain things, glaring inconsistencies in that quarter of a year. For example, I bought the system for Killer Instinct, and this was November 22nd, yeah, and they still, still haven't released the full game. I've been playing a demo now for a quarter of a year. Yeah. It's unacceptable. Um, PlayStation came out uh, around the same time as well, and I don't own the PlayStation, so I won't give a grade to it. But um, the grade that I will give the Wii U is the same grade that you gave the PlayStation PS4, 4. I'm going to give plus. it a B plus yeah, I because B plus. they don't have much third-party support like other companies coming in to try and make games for it. And their internet capabilities and their stubbornness about um, you know upping their tech and also engaging in the... Um, in the uh, you know Netflix type thing with their vast backstock of classic games shows a lot of stubbornness and that's not good in business to be stubborn and to not grow with the times. However, the quality of their games it's just it's undeniable. When they get their first party developers in there to make a game for them, it's a classic every time. It wins game of the year, almost perfect scores, and there's something to be said for that. So they're just shy of being an incredible system because they're they are their own worst enemy. Yet at the same time, they are their biggest asset so i think a b plus is fair with the xbox i'm going to be a little bit more um i'm going to be a little bit m more hard on them i'm going to give them a b minus because they clearly have incredible specs they have immense untapped potential but the key word there is untapped you have you've given us games like killer instinct where they're not even fully completed yet yet you you, you had them as launch titles you have really too much reliance on online multiplayer to the point that they'll come up with a great video game concept like that Halo overhead shooting game. Why is it that you can't play that game local co-op and you can only do it on online co-op? That's a, a great co-op game. It's a lot of fun to play online, yet for some reason you're not allowed to invite a friend over to your house or have your girlfriend over and just play it next to them. It's really right. quite ridiculous. So those oversights and the arrogance of uh, Xbox kind of uh, devalues it uh, to somewhat a yeah. little bit. What would e Easily be a B plus A system. Unfortunately, gets downgraded a little bit to a B minus. But we'll see in time where it goes. How about you, Frankie? What would you say? Uh, probably, f I gave uh, the, the the four a B plus. It's teetering on an A. I really got to see how um, how these new apps are coming out. If if it's gonna be if it's gonna run smooth, I'm gonna change that uh, to an A. With um, with the Wii U, I, I gave that a strong B, to, uh, going towards a B plus. If they were to change up, it, it, the one thing that's frustrating is they have a great library of games, and they're charging you five dollars for a game that takes up like a not even a that's what a I'm hundredth. saying. If they had that Netflix, not even if they a, had yeah. a Netflix oh, for those man, games, think about all the Nintendo, oh, yeah. Super Nintendo, uh, N64, GameCube, they just tons of they just they're just like. It's like, come on, Nintendo, really? You really They're think... They're not adapting to the market. They're really do, not. Do you think they somebody have a merger. my age... They're going to need a merger, uh, merger Frankie. Uh, if moving forward, if they don't change their approach, they're going to have to merge with something. What, what frustrates me with them is just... Nobody's gonna pay five dollars for Super Metroid. Come but you on! Know what the crazy Come thing on! Is, Frankie, Nobody's if you look paying. At, if that. you look at their 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 highest selling games on the on the Wii U network, you know what their second highest selling what game is, it, is under like Yoshi's Island or something. No, like that? under Ocarina, uh, under I'm sorry, um, Zelda Wind Wind Waker, which is, is one it? of the best games I've ever played. By the way, was it Super no. Luigi U? No, no, no. Listen to this. Super Mario World for Super Nintendo is their second highest selling game, and the game's on sale for $7.99. And believe me, I agree with Frankie. I'm not paying $7.99 for Super Mario. I beat that game a million times for Super Nintendo. I could buy the actual cartridge for less than $7.99. Exactly. Why am I going to pay digitally $7.99? Not, not only that, I can just download a torrent off my computer and plug a... a, a, do a plug a... I can get it for free on my cell yeah, phone. I can literally. get it for free on saying. my cell phone. So it's not something I'm paying you eight dollars for. And on top of that, people are buying it. Strangely I enough, I, it's it, I, it, it, it it's impossible for me to friend Juice. Like it's impossible for me to friend yeah. Johnny. No, I you can't. can't. I can't no even friends. be friends with him. You have no friends. I can't be friends with him. I can't talk to him. So say if how I hit him up on no a, headset, on a one nothing, or, or on the nothing. PS4, I could I can't do that. So they no they, lobbies, really, yeah, nothing. nothing. So that's why it's a B. 
and the reason why is because their first person, their exclusive games are are phenomenal. And, yeah, so, that's that's their phenomenal. saving grace. It's their saving grace. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'd give the uh, the PS4, yeah, B plus. So what the about Wii the what about B. the uh, one? It's the one is probably I'd give that a B as well, and um, it's gonna go a little higher if. If the same thing is if come this football season, if these multi-platform apps that they're talking about are going to be top quality, it's going to be huge. Well, for they me. have it's enough time so to much, develop it. They have time to develop it. It's not so much on a video game. So if we're talking strictly video games, it would be like a B minus because the top game that they put out right now is Titanfall. You know, because you can't count Tomb Raider because that was on PS4 right, as well. Right. I can that's just get, I can get either uh, that for either system. Yeah, but like that's like Strider. I could have mentioned what I'm that, saying. but that's you, you could all buy that on Wii U, PlayStation, or Xbox. So it's it's not something really to, to discuss. But Titanfall is dope. I think the game is is real a lot of fun, and I and I really haven't played a first person shooter in a while. But that game is is, is pretty awesome. So right now, games wise, probably a B minus because that's their top game, and um. You know, we can do about it. And uh, a B, um, it would be a B just in general for me because the multi-platforming is pretty awesome. I like the way you can change the channels, just adjust just by speaking to the Connect. And I'm pretty sure the Connect games are going to be awesome, so that's why I'm not getting too harsh on them yet. But I'm really, really, really concerned about the, the fantasy football apps, and that's something that the NFL licensed the Microsoft Xbox One as their product. I think they're going to put a lot of effort into so, it, and I think they're going to hit it out gonna, the park. If with it's that. yeah, really if it's going to be out the park, I'm going to jump up that grade to a B plus. So it, it would go from B. So right now, two Bs and a B plus. Um, yep, yeah, neighborhood guys. Neighborhood guys, round the way guys. W I C R. W I C R. the Gales. God, I own a college radio. God bless, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for having us.